The Incline Strider recently challenged local athletes to push it to the max with interval athletic training. These athletes brought their game to test their fitness levels. Each participant engaged the Incline Strider with a separate attachment, putting themselves in a variety of training positions. This shows the versatility of the Incline Strider for interval athletic training. This type of training can contribute to improved fitness performance for sports training, cardio enhancement, and strength building. We covered the athletic training of the Incline Strider and we showed some endurance features as well. Next I have Paige here. Go ahead Paige. I want to enhance the endurance aspects of this unit from another perspective. As you can see, with Paige it's easy to start the unit. It's not going to intimidate uh, the casual person who works out once a week or twice a week by simply holding on to the unit. The purpose of this is to elongate the workout. The point of the endurance aspect of the training on this unit, on the incline strider, is to equate this with running. In that, you get the benefits of running by just having to walk or stride on a unit for longer periods of time. This will, now, this will allow you to get your heart rate up equal to running, but you actually will get much greater muscle stimulation in your legs and core. Uh, and also, so important, as you get older or at any level, you don't have the pounding of running with this. You can see how it's very smooth and how, how it easily flows. All the moves are organic. They conform to your body. Your body's not adapting to the movements of the unit. You dictate the length of the stride uh, and the pace at which you work out. And if Nick, if you use the forearm pads, this is one of the different attachments for endurance training. This enables you to ease the lower back during your training period and to help mix up your body position, giving the user comfort. This is very important. This will enable the user to continue the exercise training for longer periods of time. Now, by leaning on these forearm pads, Nick is easing the lower back, as I mentioned, but also able to concentrate in the legs. He can get into that zone, in that workout zone, and focus on the, the technique and what he's training to do. One aspect to females' training, females are very prone to tear their ACL and the Achilles tendon. This unit here will truly help in the injury prevention area. In this position, Paige, with every stride, is stretching the Achilles and strengthening it. Because she's on an incline with resistance, and that's the key. She's strengthening the Achilles, and one of the prone injuries for females are the, is tearing the ACL. This unit will help strengthen those tendons and muscles around the knee joint. So when you're put in a compromising position, whether you're landing or cutting, you're gonna minimize the potential for tearing that ACL because the tendons and the muscles are strengthened to prevent the ACL, which is inside your knee, from ex being exposed and tearing. Now I'm gonna ask Nick to transition to side straddling. And I want to focus on this. As Nick is pushing that left leg, he's driving that belt with every step. And what that is doing, it's strengthening the knee and the ankle for athletic movements. And this is very important for injury prevention. Nick is strengthening that knee, the tendons and the muscles around that knee, around that ankle to help minimize yeah, any injuries in any sport you're in. But most sports incorporate that type of cutting action. And what this is doing is strengthening the body to absorb that cutting action and to minimize any potential problems. So I want to show the user how in a functional setting, whether it be a health club or at home or in a fitness facility for endurance training, this would be ideal.